Hi there, in this video, we'll take a look at some recent changes to the AnyType free tier of membership, as well as ways to get discounts. Okay, so as of June 11th of 2025, the AnyType team has posted this in the community. So if you joined before June 11th, you do get to keep your existing storage limits. So that means that you probably got one gigabyte. Some beta users probably have a little more because they were offering some bonuses if you made contributions to the community. And then after June 11th, if you this is your first time downloading any type, you would get a smaller free storage limit. And so before I get to that, let me just show you down here. One of the things that is really important about the any type philosophy is that they want your data to always be yours. So they have come out and said multiple times in town halls and in the forums that the app will be free to use locally. You can use your own hard drive to store as much data as you want. The only thing they're gonna charge for is if you use the AnyType servers to back up and store your data. And then, so that's if you want to say, use your laptop, but you wanna have it synced to your cell phone, you can use the AnyType servers. Okay, so let's take a look at the old and new memberships together. So the old plan here, the old Explorer plan that was free, you got one gigabyte of sync and backup, three shared spaces, three editors, and a non-unique name. Now the new membership as of June 11th, you get the starter plan and you get 100 megabytes of backup and sync, three shared spaces, three editors, and 10 megabytes of web publishing and you don't have a unique name. So those that is a major change of the free plan that's offered. Right now, there's actually a limited time offer called the Explorer Aster, um, and it is listed at 48 US dollars per year, and it comes with 10 gigabytes of backup and sync, three shared spaces, four editors, and 100 megabytes of web publishing. And then this is the one that I think is a great deal is the unique name. So the unique name is essentially the domain of your web publishing. So for myself, like I have a site and it's called focuscuriosity.any. If you don't have, if you have the non-unique name with the free plan and you do web publishing, it's gonna be a super long alphanumeric number. Um, and it's basically your any type name that's assigned to your account. You can't change it unless you upgrade to the paid plans. And so if you try to publish something, it just looks like a extremely long URL. So yeah, also this one comes with four editors, one more than the three editors in the free plan. For the builder and the co-creator plans, it's $99 per year and $299 for three years. Nothing has really changed with those. I think what I've seen so far in the community is a lot of people would definitely like to see a higher storage limit for web publishing and maybe having that as a separate add-on. And then also all of these plans, the 48, 99, and 299 are one-time payments. They, they currently do not have monthly options yet for paying for any type of membership, but it does seem like they will eventually have that, just not at this moment. Now I did jump back into my any type vault because I wanted to show you the web publishing. So with that 100 megabytes, it's kind of hard to know like, well, how many pages is that really? So this page has about six megabytes of web publishing storage. It does have some different media on here. I've got a PDF, I've got an image and some audio linked on this page. And as a comparison, this web space usage, this page has 91 kilobytes of any types web publishing is what it uses. It has about 924 words in this sample text that I put on here. Um, it just kind of depends on how much you're putting on your pages. If you're just publishing pages and they're only about 100 kilobytes per page, that comes out to like a thousand pages if you are at the 100 megabyte limit. So that's kind of a lot still. But of course, if you're using pages with embedded media, that's going to get used up a lot quicker. Okay, and then let's take a look at some other ways that you can get discounts. So AnyType has a student education discount and you can get 50% off a membership. You just have to email 
membership upgrade at anytype.io. You can also find that information. I'll link it down below. It's in the Anytype documents. And then there is also a contributors discount, which is 50 to 100% off a builder membership. And for full transparency, I do receive a subsidized builder membership for my contributions by making any type video tutorials and helping out in the community every now and then. So you can also do that. It is listed as contribute to code base gallery tutorials and community in the official any type docs, which of course is linked down below. So hopefully this is helpful if you're trying to decide whether you should keep the free plan or if you want to upgrade. Now there's no deadline on the limited offer explorer asterisk plan. So I would definitely act on that if you've been waiting on buying some storage to use with your AnyType vaults.